So in this video, we're going to talk about how do we draw the Lewis structure of really interesting molecule, but it's S2O3 2 minus. How do we draw the Lewis structure of this molecule? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is write out my atoms respectively and how many of them I have. So I have a sulfur, but I have two sulfur atoms and I have three oxygen atoms. Now, keep in mind that we have a negative charge here, and actually, it's actually a 2 minus. So in chemistry, that means that we have to add two electrons to the total electrons that we're going to count. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to be able to, to account for the electrons that I'm placing. So I'm going to count up the total, num the total number of valence electrons I should have. Now, from the periodic table at this point, you should know that sulfur gives us six valence electrons, right? And oxygen also gives us six valence electrons. In chemistry, we say that sulfur is oxygen's cousin right so in this case i'm going to total my number of valence electrons i should have in my problem so in this case i have two times six so that's 12 right and then i have three times six that's 18 right so that is essentially 30 electrons right that we've added up but remember that we have a minus two in the in the in the in the formula it's, a, it's an ion so that means that we have to add two electrons so in total we should have about 32 electrons. Now, how do you start this problem? Well, I see that sulfur in this case is actually, we have more sulfurs and less oxygen. So most likely sulfur will be one, uh, pretty much the central atom, right? It's also plausible that sulfur is actually the furthest left in the molecular formula. So it is most likely gonna be your central atom. So let's say we have one sulfur placed. At this point, I'm going to put an oxygen around it, and I'm going to put another oxygen around it, right? So we still have one more sulfur to place, and uh, two. Uh, we have one more sulfur to place and one more oxygen to place, right? So at this point, I'm going to place another oxygen around here, and we're going to place a sulfur here. Now, at this point, I'm going to form single bonds because single, bond, single bonds are the least amount of electrons I could place in the formula. So from there on, I could actually build up. What I don't want to do is start placing double bonds and then things could kind of get messy, right? You got to also remember that Lewis structures are, are essentially experiments when you're drawing them at first hand, right? So at this point, I could form a single bond between, this, between that oxygen. I could form a single bond between this oxygen and sulfur single bond right here. I can also form a single bond right there. So thus far we've used eight total electrons, right? Two, four, six, eight. And we have 32 to place. Now remember in general chemistry that sulfur is one of those atoms that can have an expanded octet. So in this case, what I can actually do is form a double bond to this oxygen. Now this oxygen only has two, four, only has four electrons around it. We know that oxygens are one of those atoms that usually satisfy the octet rule. So in this case, to complete oxygen's octet, this oxygen, I could place two pairs of lone pair on the oxygen. Right? So that takes care of two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. So we've used fourteen electrons thus far. Now, I could also use another double bond, whether it's between the oxygen or sulfur, right? Because remember, they're in the same formula, right? They're in the same, they all have the same number of valence electrons. So in this case, what I could actually do is form a double bond between this sulfur, between these two sulfurs as well, right? So this becomes two, four, 6, 8, 10, 12, right? And we have 14, 16. So we've used half of the electrons that we, we should have. Now at this point, since this sulfur has only four electrons around it, I could actually place two pairs of lone pairs around this sulfur. So in this case, as a branch, this sulfur's octet is satisfied. Now what about the oxygens? Well, this sulfur, the central sulfur has two, four, six, eight 
10, 12 electrons around it, right? So it's possible at this point that we most likely may not be able to put any more electrons around the sulfur. So in this case, the only other option we have is to go in the form of lone pairs. So I put three pairs of lone pairs around this oxygen. I could also do the same for this oxygen, right? And the reason why I put three is because I have to satisfy the octet rule. So this becomes two, four, six, eight. This oxygen is satisfied. Two, four, six, eight. This oxygen is satisfied. Two, four, six, eight. This oxygen is satisfied. And remember, we said that sulfur can have an expanded octet. So we shouldn't be alarmed that we have more than eight electrons around our central atom. Now, this sulfur as a branch is satisfied, right? The octet, two, four, six, eight. So this octet is satisfied. So let's count the total number of electrons we've used. We have two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. So we've counted 32 electrons, and this is what we've initially counted in the beginning. So that tells us that our Lewis structure is somehow correct. Now, the last thing is that we have an overall formal charge of negative 2. So wh well, where are those charges come from? They come from the oxygen. They come from the oxygen. Look at the terminal oxygens in this case, right? If I take the formal charge, if I want to find the formal charge of this oxygen, right? So if I want to find the formal charge of this oxygen, then a formal charge is equal to the number of valence electrons. In this case, it's six because it's oxygen. And then we're going to use a shortcut, right? We're going to say this is, we have two pairs of lone pairs. So I kind of switch it on. So we have two pairs of lone pairs. We have one, two, three, four, five five, six, right? So we have three pairs of lone pairs, but remember that this double, this single bond is a contribution from one electron from the sulfur and one electron from the oxygen. We only care about the electron from the oxygen, right? So in this case, this oxygen has seven electrons around it. So this is six minus seven, and that is equal to negative one. So this oxygen has a negative one formal charge and this oxygen is in the same position, also have a negative one formal charge, right? So this is where the negative two overall comes in. Now remember, because this is an ion, our lower structure is not complete, we have to do our brackets, right? And then we just simply put the overall charge at the top. And this would be a plausible Lewis structure for the molecule. Now, you should realize that we could actually draw several uh, resonance structures uh, from this molecule, right? I could put the lone pairs in the form of a double bond here and form a double bond here and then move the electrons on the oxygen, right? So we should recognize that we can, we could form several Lewis structures, I'm sorry, several resonance structures from this molecule.